Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Endurance Textile Jacket. RST's Endurance Jacket is one step up from their entry-level touring jacket, and this one's designed for people who want all-round performance without spending a shed load of cash. It's relatively basic with a waterproof drop liner to keep you dry, but let's run through the essentials so you're in the picture. The outer shell on this jacket is made from RST's Maxtex fabric with tougher reinforcements made from ballistic nylon that you get on the shoulders here. There are accordion flex panels at the shoulders as well and also above the elbows for those people who like to move around on the bike a lot. It zips up the front to do it up and then there's a storm flap over the top which secures down with Velcro and also with press studs. The collar is also a press stud and sadly there's no option to secure this back out of the way. That's a shame in my opinion as it's quite a useful feature when jackets have that. The cuffs on this jacket, they open up nice and wide, leaving enough room to get a winter glove inside there. And the zips are also two way, so you can bring the upper zip down and open that up to make a zip vent. The fit adjustment on this jacket comes from Velcro belts at the waist and the upper arms. And then at the bottom of the hem there are expansion pleats with zips and press snaps to do them up. There are vents at each collarbone with elasticated loops inside that can be wrapped around these hooks here. The idea is that air can then flow over your shoulders and exit through two zippable vents on the back of the jacket. The effectiveness of those vents will always be limited by the fact there's a waterproof membrane fixed inside the jacket. So air won't be able to flow through that membrane and that means the incoming air can only cool down the membrane itself which lowers the temperature on the inside of the jacket. To get a direct flow of air through to your body, you'll need either a jacket with a removable waterproof membrane or one where that membrane is laminated to the outer shell. Either of those setups usually cost considerably more than the £170 price of this jacket. The membrane in this jacket is RST's own Senaqua lining, which is rated as having a 10,000 mm static head. And that means it's tested to resist a 10 meter column of water. That test's pretty standard for motorcycle clothing like this. That membrane is a drop liner, so it's attached loosely inside the jacket. That's good for flexibility as it can slide around on the inside and it's good for keeping you on a budget as it's the most cost effective way of making a jacket waterproof. The idea is that the outer shell is treated to repel as much water as possible. Then if there's enough rain to breach the outer shell, the waterproof membrane stops that water from getting through to you. You can help that process with a bit of ongoing care for the jacket. If you retreat it once a year or so with some proofing spray, that will help maintain the water repellents. And the longer the outer can hold out water, the further you'll be able to ride without getting wet on the inside. So let's cover the external pockets. There are seven of them in total. Starting at the back, there's a lower spine pocket, something that's really common on this style of jacket. There are two at the chest, which sit behind these vent hooks. And then there are four at the waist. The front pair open at the top with Velcro fold over flaps. And then there are zip up hand warmer pockets behind each of those two pockets. So let's move to the inside. There's a mesh liner next to your skin and that houses two storage pockets. One of them zips up and the other's just sat loose. There's shoulder and elbow armor as standard and that's soft, well-ventilated armor that meets the basic level one of the CE standard for impact protection. You can fit a back protector insert into the pocket if you want, but it'll cost you another 25 quid for a level one insert or 30 pounds for one that meets the higher level two of the CE test. The overall CE protection level for this jacket is shown on a label on the inside. It meets the middle of three levels, which is double A. Also attached inside is a middleweight thermal liner, which can be removed when the weather warms up. It's quite thin, but I found it did a pretty good job of keeping me warm when I wore this jacket on a chilly day in late October. It also attaches neatly inside with zips at the sleeves, not fiddly press stud loops like you find on quite a lot of jackets. Lastly, on the interior of this jacket, there's a long connection zip to attach it to the matching trousers. The RST Endurance textile trousers are made to a similar spec. It's a max text outer with a waterproof membrane, removable thermal liner, and CE level one armor at the hips and knees. They cost 150 pounds a pair. So if you match them to this jacket, which is 169 pounds 99 at 2022 prices, then this is 320 pounds for the combination as we record this video. As things stand on price, that's pretty competitive with what else is available for this sort of money. It's a straightforward, effective touring and commuting jacket that does a decent job for a relatively low price. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Endurance textile jacket. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching. 